Peace of the Lord to all of you. This is our Father, Art of Heaven, in the original language in Aramaic. And we heard it from uh, Father uh, Doroyo Bolos. Uh, Bolos, which is Paul, you know, in the way we say it in Arabic or in Aramaic. So today our topic is about the Christmas. And as you see, I changed even the title, Why Christmas Celebrated by Allah. You know, there's many naive people, and they are silly and so stupid from both sides. Muslims and even Christians. In fact, I saw some comment of silly so-called Christians saying that Christmas is not in the Bible. But if you look in two seconds to your Bible, you will see that the most celebrated day by God, it was the Christmas day. This is how ignorant those who so-call themselves Christians who oppose Christmas. Isn't God himself, he sent his angels to Mary to tell her the good news? Is it God himself he sent his angels to tell Mary about the amazing news is going to come to this earth, peace on earth? Is it this is what all mankind waiting for, is peace on earth? And yet you will find a bunch of dummies says to you, Christmas is not biblical. If God himself he sent a team to welcome the coming Messiah, to tell the good news, who in the world receive such, let us say, welcoming? You are born, I'm born, but God did not come to our door to tell us, hey, uh, lady, lady, you will have a son, his name is a Christian prince, he's coming to you. That never happened. When the angels came to the earth to announce to Mary, they were celebrating what? What the angels say to Mary? Did they say, listen, <laughs> Jesus is nobody, don't worry about it. He's just a kid. He's going to be born. Yeah, no one, you know, his name is just Emmanuel, God with us, that's it. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, did the angels say to her, uh, the Holy Spirit will come upon you? Did the angels say that? The Holy Spirit itself coming upon you to do what? Who's left? Is it us Christians we believe that God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit? So God, the Holy Spirit coming upon you and the power of the Most Highly will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born. And it will be called what? Holy, the Son of God. 
And then they say to you, Christmas is not biblical. God himself, this is not the delivery of the angels from their mouth. This is a God command. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Who is you? Mary, you are nobody. But because she is the chosen woman to give birth to the Messiah, look how important she become. To the point the Holy Spirit will come upon you. To the point the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born and will be called holy, the Son of God. And then they say to you, Christmas is not biblical. For God loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. What happened when he sent him? Christmas. Christmas. For into you is born this day in the city of David, Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And they say to you, Christmas is not biblical. What we shall say for those ignorant? Even in the book of Isaiah, in the Old Testament, thousands of years ago, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. And then they say to you, Christmas is not biblical. Somebody can tell me what verse in the Bible it says that kings came to celebrate Jesus and they gave him gifts. You know, there is some, let me, let me search. <laughs> you know, there is, there is always a Christmas card we see. I'm sure many of you saw it. And when you were a kid, you even remember such images. Now, for sure, the images is just to present a story, but it is what happened. Why those three kings, they come to the cradle of Jesus? And why they are giving gifts? Those are the first ones who celebrated the Christmas ever after the angels. Do I agree? So gifts is from Christmas. Gifts is from Christmas. Kings giving gifts is from Christmas. Stars coming from the heaven is a Christmas. For this day is a very special day. And when we talk about the day, by the way, we are not talking about a date. The date is not really the important one. What is important is the day where the Messiah come to this earth. Otherwise, a day nobody can repeat. Like, you know, there is different calendar, like the Orthodox have different calendar. And I believe the Orthodox calendar is more accurate than the Western calendar about the Christmas. But it doesn't matter. We are celebrating the occasion, not a date, because a date cannot be repeated. You see, actually, many of you celebrate your birthday wrong. So if you are born in January 1st last year, next year you are not born in January 1st. No, you are not, because the years are not perfect. The date change. So if you calculate your number perfectly, you will find that you have to, 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 to switch the day every few years. And if not every year. So the day is not really what we celebrate. What we celebrate is the coming of the Messiah. And please focus with me and don't be silly. 
I'm speaking about something very serious. I'm not talking about me getting gifts. I appreciate you if you speak as an adult and to be mature. Maturity is very important. We are growing men and women. We are not a bunch of teenage. Focus with me. Stop being silly. I'm not here coming to entertain you. So those who oppose the Christmas, in fact, they are Antichrist. And this is why you will see that all Antichrist forces, they unite together to fight Christmas. And if you are a Christian who is fighting Christmas, obviously you are a Mohammedan. You are following the terrorist Muhammad who try to destroy Christianity. Why the Muslims, they hate the Christmas? Do you know why? Because the Muslims, they feel guilty. Islam could not bring happiness. Their stupid cult is nothing but sex and food. Even their fasting is a fraud. They sleep all day, they eat all night, and they claim that they are fasting. Oh, what they did, they switched day and night between time of eating. That's not fasting. That's hypocrisy, and that's a fraud. Even when they celebrate so-called holiday, it's about what? It's about food. No spirituality. No love. Even when a Muslim, he gave a charity in so-called holiday, he gave it so his sin will be forgiven. He think he can bribe God by giving some chicken to a poor person. Even that is a bribe. Even that is evil act. Because you are not doing it because you love a human being to feed him. You are doing it for yourself. You are selfish. Muhammad, he told them, if you say the name of Allah 100 times, all your sin is forgiven, even if it's more than all the foam of the ocean. Just say 100 times, Bismillah wa bihamdihi, in the name of Allah and with his praise. What a stupid cult. Satanic. So I go sin all day long, and then I say, in the name of Allah 100 times, and then my sin is gone. What Christmas does to us is bringing joy and mercy to this earth. In fact, I can show you from the Quran that the coward Muhammad, he stole a Christmas and he put it in the Quran. Isn't it the stupid Quran for those Muslims who keep talking against Christmas, saying that Allah himself celebrated Christmas? If we go in the, if we go in YouTube, we will find a bunch of Muslim dummies. They are warning Muslims about Christmas. Confusing the non-Muslims. Haram, haram, brother, haram. You don't have to get triggered and mad when this is... Haram, brother, haram. You're making it more difficult for Muslims to maintain their family times. If you're a Muslim uh -huh. and you have a business, for example, or you have non-Muslim friends and co-workers, customers, and you openly are celebrating Christmas, you have decorations everywhere, you're telling people Merry Christmas, the least you can do is just acknowledge the fact that one, you're doing something that is contrary to the teachings of Islam, and number two, you're making it more difficult for people who do want to follow Islam because you're confusing the non-Muslims. You don't have to get triggered and mad when this is brought to your attention and start shouting in the middle of a khutbah. Just acknowledge this and may Allah forgive you and may Allah guide you. You know, you know, they hate Christmas because Christmas showed them how much they need peace. I remember when I was a kid, all the kids, the Muslim kids, which I know, they come to my house. They sit under the Christmas tree. My mom, she bring them cookies. She treat them like her kids. In fact, she spoiled them more than us. Kids don't want to go home. They spend the whole day. Until her mamas, they ask for them to come back. They don't want to leave. Because finally they see something really make them happy. And here I remember what Jesus says about the little ones. Christ, he said, let the little one come to me. The first Christmas children celebrated is in the presence of Christ. 
For the first time, children were allowed to come to the one who nobody dared to go close to him. You know, those uh, Jewish, the rabbi, you know, if you are a rabbi, you don't allow kids to get close to the rabbi. He's the master. This is only adult business. The Messiah says, little, little one, those, let them come to me. Why you are stopping them? In fact, if you don't become like them, you don't enter the kingdom of my father. The Muslims are terrified because of Christmas. They made songs, stealing the Christmas songs and make it about Islam. This is how much they are terrified. If you go and search in YouTube, you will find tons of videos. All of it is about how to fight Christmas. Why they are terrified? For Christmas show them how Islam is evil and how Jesus bring peace. Christmas is all about love and peace, which Islam have zero of it. 